Lesson 17 is about measures of dispersion. That means how spread out your data is. Our last le lesson was on measures of central tendency, so we found the middle of our data, but the middle of our data doesn't tell us the whole story. So if you look at these examples in your notes, we've got uh, fuel efficiency for subcompact cars and for midsize cars. And if you compare the means, Subcompact cars are getting 21.6 and mid-sized cars are getting 21. Um, so these are really close, but the data is not anywhere, anywhere near similar. So if we have the additional statistics um, called measures of dispersion, we can look at the range and the interquartile range of our data. So the range is going to be the difference between the greatest value and the smallest value. And the interquartile range is going to be the difference uh, of the middle 50% of the data, and it's the difference between the upper and lower quartiles, which you already learned how to find when you did your box and whisker plots. So here is an example. A double box and whisker plot was made of that data above, and here's the box and whisker plot for some compacts and for mid-sized cars. And if we wanted to know the range for the subcompacts, it would be 35 minus 11, which would be 24. If I wanted to know the interquartile range, it would be 26.5 minus 19, which would be 7.5. For the midsize, my range is going to be 26 minus 17, or 9. And the interquartile range, is going to be 23 minus 19 or 4. So you can see that the dispersion of the subcompact cars is much greater than it is for the midsize cars. We want to talk about two more measures of dispersion. So the range is based on the extremes of data and the interquartile range is based on quartiles. And there are two measures of dispersion that are based on the mean and they're called the variance and the standard deviation. And the standard deviation describes the typical difference between the mean and the data value. The standard deviation is the positive square root of the variance. Now, I am not going to make you calculate this by hand, but if you wanted to, the variance, this is red sigma squared, is equal to a data value minus the mean. This notation represents the mean, and then you square it and you add all your data points up and you divide by the number of data points that you have and that's your variance. And then if you want the, the standard deviation, you take the square root of this number. Okay, we'll be using calculators or Google Sheets or Desmos to find standard deviation and variance. This is an example on how to use the TI-84 calculators, which I will show you when I get back. Um, and I will also post movies of how to do this in Google Sheets and Desmos.